Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we're back with another video. So today what we're going to be doing is ranking the best gem carriers in Brawl Stars. So we have played eight games with eight different gem carriers and what we're going to be doing is ranking them for you guys. But before we do that, I'm just going to give a few honorable mentions. So let's go to the brawlers over here. So some gem carriers that we didn't use that can technically be used as gem carriers are is Brock one of them. Brock is an extremely tough one to use. Usually only the pros use it so I wouldn't really recommend it. Even then they wouldn't use it in any type of serious manner. I also didn't include, where is she? I also didn't include B. Now, B is actually used a lot in competitive, but I think B is very rarely used as a mid by anybody, even at the top trophies outside of the elite competitive players. Now, I'm not going to add B to the list just because I don't think that enough of you guys play it as a mid for it to be considered a mid. But with that being said, she is pretty good. And if you guys do want to master the skills or if you guys are going to be, you guys can definitely rock it and try and make it work. So with that being said, let's hop into our top eight. We have eight gem carries that we're going to be doing to today that we're going to be doing today. So with that being said, let's hop into the games and let's get into number eight. So coming in at number eight, we're going to have Jesse. Now, unfortunately, Jesse is number eight. And again, this is just gem carriers. It has nothing to do with how good the actual brawler is, just at how good they are at holding down the mid position in gem grab. Now, Jesse is really good in a lot of different situations and actually used to be one of the top gem carriers in the game. She used to be part of the meta, but as of late, she just hasn't been very good. Now, something I do think for all of you Jesse players, AKA Connor, who has been waiting for a Jesse buff, I do think the gadget is a really good sign. It's actually a very strong gadget, especially for gem carrying. As it slows down people, it makes it really easy to kill them once they've actually been caught in the slowness of the gadget. And I think when when Jesse does eventually get her buff, she's actually going to go into the very elite of gem carriers because her star powers are all also very strong. So with that being said, this is going to leave Jesse at number eight. All gem carriers are definitely viable. So even though Jesse is number eight, she can definitely be used in a lot of different ways. And I wouldn't stay away from Jesse. I would recommend trying out Jesse, seeing what you guys can do. But with that being said, let's hop on to number seven. And let's show you guys what the number seven gem carrier in Brawl Stars is. So coming in at number seven, we have Bo. Now I was tempted to put Bo at number eight, but after giving it a little bit more thought, I'm actually surprised it was so low on the list at number seven. So let me get this started. So Bo has something that's incredibly useful for a mid. And no, it's not the bow mines. No, it's not even the gadget placement and how you can use it to charge your super. But it's the actual fact that bow has three body blocks in the game. So when you think about mids, you think about basically protecting your gems, trying to protect yourself and trying to never die. Well, your gadget can actually serve as a shield and you could actually stay alive a lot longer than you normally would be able to. So outside of the fact that you have really good area denial with your mines and that your um, and that your gadget can obviously charge your super. If a gene has a pull or something or you're one shot to a piper and you need to go get that final gem, you can walk up and as soon as you see that gene hand or that piper shot or anything like that, you can just click your gadget and it's going to body block one shot. No matter how powerful it is, no matter how much damage, no matter what type of super it is, as long as it doesn't go through things like a Tara shot does, then it's not going to. You guys see I was able to use it right there for the crow jump and I was able to stay away from the crow jump. Now I do go down over here due to crow poison. I completely forgot about it, but I was able to stay alive for a lot longer. Thus, I wasn't able that thus I wasn't going to go down. Now, this is why bow is going to be the number seven spot. Obviously, really good damage. Um, if you are hitting all three of the shots, good HP, good range. And obviously, the placement of the mines is just so good. The mines are absolutely broken. But with that being said, there are better mids. So this is why we're going to leave bow at the number seven spot. With that being said, let's hop on and let's move to number six. OK, so coming in at number six, we have Piper. Now, Piper, for very obvious reasons, is going to be number six. She has incredible range, one of the highest damages out of all of the brawlers in the game for one shot. And she obviously doesn't have to get very close to anybody. Now, the downside to Piper is there's a lot of gem grab maps where she isn't good. So obviously, I recorded all of this footage in the same day. Um, and maps like this where the middle is wide open, you know, there aren't really too many lanes and it's kind of hard to sneak up on somebody. Piper is a really good brawler and might be one of the best gem carriers on this specific map. But when you think about all the maps and you actually think about the maps that Supercell has been adding to the game recently, where it's more clustered, where other mids that do more damage up close or something like that, they're actually way better than Piper. So although the fact that Piper is really good from range, can tap from long distance, and has a really good getaway ability, her gadget isn't really useful for her as a mid, and she is served way better 
even as like kind of a lane on some maps and obviously in bounty so that being said we're gonna leave piper at number six now let's move into the top five gem carriers and let's get on to number five okay so coming in at number five we have mr p now if you guys have watched my recent video where i went over the top five control brawlers in the game mr p was actually number one and it kind of goes hand in hand to why he's going to be our number five gem carrier now mr p isn't even really the best this isn't what he's best at he's actually probably even better as a lane just because of all the annoyance and you can actually win lane really easily and then help out mid but he's obviously a really good mid you can kind of just stay back and chuck your briefcases the first star power is incredibly useful to have if you are going to be playing mr p as a mid and you obviously have those like little things that are coming around and helping you out um the little mr p porters it's just a really useful type of super to have and a really type like useful type of brawler design just to have as a mid um, doesn't have a ton of HP, which is the only downside to Mr. P as a mid. You can be hit twice by a Piper or something like that, or pulled by a Jean in three shot. But just like, uh, just like, uh, Bo, sorry, I forgot for a second. She ha he has the ability to kind of just drop something in case of there's, in case there's a shot. So if you have your super or something like that, and someone's going for a big shot on you or for a gene pull, you can just place down your super and have that body block. The gadget's also really useful for killing people. Um, kind of as a surprise but with that being said he is going to be a little bit underwhelming and not have the ability of the other top five gem carriers so that's why we're going to leave him at number five so coming in at number four we have poco now poco for very obvious reasons has been at the top of gem carriers for a very long time now in a map like this where it's very open poco does struggle a little bit as you guys can see they're just longer range brawlers such as 8-bit and piper that are just going to excel here much more but in most of the gem maps poco is one of if not the best gem carriers now poco for very obvious reasons has been in the meta as a gem carrier ever since the game came out in bed in beta almost three years ago and it's, he's just an absolutely perfectly designed mid now obviously on this map i'm not going to do as well as with poco but there are a lot of other maps where poco is just an absolute beast and it's very clear as to why he is the number four gem carrier in the game now the only downfall he has is he doesn't have that much range and he doesn't do that much damage but the amount of heals he can get off to his teammates and just how useful you can be in helping out your teammates and holding the gems is just absolutely incredible and that is why we're going to put him in the number four spots so with that being said not too much to talk about poco that you guys don't already know so let's hop on to the top three let's tell you guys what the top three gem carriers in brawl stars is so coming in at number three we have Pam. Now, Pam, very obviously, just like Poco, is an absolute beast in the mid. A lot of pros to Pam. So, Pam has things that's really good, such as her damage, such as her range, and such as her health, which makes her an obvious pick for being a really good mid. But she also has a really low, a lot of really low key things that do help a lot. Now, there have been times where Pam is has been the best gem carrier in the game, and I wouldn't be surprised if in the recent, if in the near future, that Pam is going to again be the best brawler for gem carrying in the game but right now it's just going to be at number three it obviously has that turret which does give you 500 health per second um obviously does have star powers where for every hit shot you get 20 or 40 hp for you and everyone around you i forgot the exact number and it does have a really good gadget that does heal you for 1.5 thousand and your teammates whoever is in the turret there's just a lot of reasons to like pam as a mid very good gem carrier not a lot of brawlers can take out pam in fact pam can usually take more than three shots from piper um, it's just a really good mid, very hard to take down and very easy to keep control with, very auto aim friendly, very easy to play, and that is why we're going to have Pam in the number three spot. Coming in in the number two spot, we are going to have Penny. Now, just like the control list where Penny was number two, it's going to stay at number two on the gem carrier list as well. Now, this is a really good game. This, we did get underdog this game. We did end up winning, um, but it was a really good game to show off Penny's skills. So Penny can also be used as a lane. But Penny is really good as a mid. Now, unfortunately, the only downside to Penny is she is a little bit underwhelming when it comes to her basic, you know, shot, basic attack. You know, her range is pretty decent. She doesn't do too much damage. Um, she can stay away, but she doesn't have that much health. But obviously, the main part that makes her so broken is her turret and her splash. So her turret is really good control, which is basically all gem grab is, is a bunch of control. And as you guys can see with that shot over there, splash is just incredibly useful and can take out entirety of teams if it does work out correctly. Um, but the turret is basically what puts her in this position. The turret is probably one of the best supers in the game. The best probably when it comes to control and that is why it is going to be the number two gem carrier in brawl Stars. so with that being said i am sure you guys have been able to guess what the number one gem carrier was as soon as this video started coming in at number one we have the beast himself 
Gene. Now, Gene is just the ultimate mid. He's exactly what you want would want in a mid in every single way. His super is one of the most dangerous supers in the game. You can literally be losing a game 9 to nothing, 15 to nothing, and then all of a sudden you hit one super and you go and win the game. The gadget is literally to avoid people from killing him and gives him HP. Anytime anyone's near, like you saw earlier in the game, Gene just throws him off of him, bounces him off of him, and can just run away and gains HP while doing so. Um, it's just such an easy brawler to mid with. On top of the fact that it does decent damage and has really good range, you can always keep people low just by shooting your shot from very far. And it's so easy to hit and so easy to keep brawlers low just because the range of or the uh, spread of your little of your shots is just absolutely ridiculous. So as you guys can see, that Mortis would have killed me over there, would have came onto me. I simply just clicked my gadget button and he had to go away. But obviously the important part to this brawler and to why it's such a good mid is the pull. The pull is just game changing, very easy to hit. Um, not that hard, you guys can see. I don't even have to use it right there. I can just walk around, kind of just play the game as comfortably as I can because I have my pull and because I have my gadget. And that is why Gene is going to be the number one brawler for gem care. So with that being said, that's going to end it today. I hope you guys enjoyed this list. And if you guys did, I can definitely make more somewhat like this. Like what the best lanes are, what the best brawl ball mids are, etc. But anyways, if you guys did like it, leave a thumbs up. Subscribe like always. And that's going to be it for me today. I will be back again soon. I will see you guys then. Peace.